Welcome to the Phoenix Empath Intuitive. We sometimes give our light and energy to people who never really see our worth. And sometimes we have to discover how to take our power and energy back by using affirmations, visual inspiration, oracles, and meditation. I am here to give you motivation on how the past is always our teacher and we can learn from each other. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Thank you guys and I truly love you. Hey guys. It's a late night read. I finally came back to sit at my desk after doing day five. And I'm just going to try to do a different type of read today and see how it works. So thank you guys for all of their, your support. Um, all of the love that you guys give to my channel. Yes, I appreciate it. Now, this deck is from the Black Hollywood Romance. What am I saying? That? Black Hollywood Romance Stars uh, Oracle Deck by Queen Sugar Tarot. Let's see what we can get out of this um, and go from there. <clears throat> and then I'll pull from the messages of love after this. And maybe even from Doreen Virtue, two part, three cards come out. Let me just do it like that. How about that? We'll do it like that. Bottom of the deck is freedom. Freedom, freedom, freedom. So this, again, is from the Black Hollywood Romance Stars. Um, and also, I'm going to pull from the Messages of Love. Um, the bottom of the deck says freedom. When, when we can be our truest selves, we are then able to freely love. Well, hell. Well, hell. Wait, we say, what? Well, shit. Who is that? That guy on TikTok? Uh, he's on Instagram. The uh, I forget. He was a child actor. But anyway, there you have it. Do you see that? Freedom. And this is from the movie Love Jones. That's right here. When we can be our truest selves, we are then able to freely love. If you hear in the background, twinkle, twinkle, little stars playing because my, my grandbaby is sleeping back there. That's how she goes to sleep listening to lullabies how about that she's still and she's been doing that forever um so that's what she's listening to <clears throat> it's actually really late and i'm on youtube watching i'm going to london okay I'm, I'm gonna tell you guys because i think he is so handsome um i think he's more handsome at this stage of his life than he is um <clears throat> Uh, I think he's more handsome, and, and I'm turning him this way now, so they'll come out the right way, and you won't see him just like that. I think he's more handsome now that he's a little heavier, um, but he's on Asheville, Ag uh, he has a company in London somewhere, UK somewhere. Okay, so all of these cards came out. That's not how I wanted to do it, but anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and finish telling you. Um, <clears throat> and as I say, this patience was kind of at the bottom of the deck, but it really wasn't. But anyway, um, he has a, a YouTube channel. He's a businessman. <laughs> Fate. This is a destined partnership, friendship. This friendship is leading to more patience. Everything will unfold in divine timing. Freedom. When we can be our truest selves, we are then able to freely love. So this friendship, this faded friendship, it's a destined partnership. This friendship is leading to more. So this is somebody that you did not expect to, you know, I guess ever be in a relationship with because you guys started off as friends. But that's the best way to have a relationship. Anyway, back to this man. He has, oh, I just smacked my lips. He has a business um, uh, in the UK, and he is a construction slash a lot of other businesses, but he is so business-minded that it is beautiful. Um, and it's uh, his, his company is called Asheville, Asheville Aggregates. And so he's the owner. His name is Daniel. And let me just tell you, I don't even like light-skinned guys like this. But he is very beautiful. And um, I like him the way he looks now. He used to be a model at one point. 
but I like his little personality. I think it's so beautiful to see somebody's true form. That doesn't mean that they don't have any uh, issues. Now, does he have a kid's wife and all that other stuff? No, I don't know. But I like his business uh, ethic and his work ethic. You know, I like the way he conducts business. You know, it's about the bottom line. And that's his business. So, you know, I appreciate that. Um, all of these cards came out. Bottom of the day. Let go of control issues. Allow this, this to unfold naturally. So everything in regards to this read so far that I have turned over is in regards to being patient, knowing that everything will unfold, letting go of control issues. You can be, it says freedom. When you can be your truest self, we are then able, I mean, we are, we are then able to freely love. So this is all about, and it says it's safe, it's safe for you to love. So this is all about somebody who you probably are impatient about, you know, healing family issues. But the universe is saying to heal the family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. I don't know, retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. So you have to go into hermit mode and heal these family issues, um, religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual paths. So that could be why this friend who knows you, because it seems like some whoever this is knows you. Let me make sure that you can see this. Oh, and you can't. Um, whoever this is, they know you. You know, whoever this is, this person knows you. I'm sorry. That was horrible. Whoever this is, this person knows you um, and knows a lot about you. So I think this is why, you know, at some point the re religious factors um, are holding you back. And then it says this could be the one uh, you've already met your romantic partner. So, so far, what has come out is freedom. When you can be uh, when we can be our, tr our truest selves, we then are able to freely love fate. This is a destined partnership. Friendship. This friendship is leading to more patience. Everything will unfold into divine timing. And at the bottom of the deck here, it's like, let go of your control issues. You're trying to make this happen faster than it needs to. And, and that causes heartbreak and hurt. More heartbreak and hurt than you, you want to be a part of. So, again, um, you have to understand that. Stop trying to control this narrative or this situation, you know, stop trying to do that because you're going to make it harder for you to really love this person or this person to really love you. I don't know. Take what resonates. But at the beginning, we have accountability. Someone needs to take accountability for their actions. It may be you, your partner or both of you um, or both of you acknowledging the effect of your behaviors allow you to allow allows you to move forward. So recognize your and, and be accountable for your actions. Oh, and that's Dwayne and Whitley. If you are of a particular age, you know who that is, right? And then children. Children are a significant factor in your love life. This may uh, signify the desire of them or someone's inner child needing attention. So Somebody knows a lot about you in this relationship, and this is why they're hesitant in regards to moving forward. Either you know more about it and you're trying to, like, we need to hurry up and rush this energy. Um, but remember, when you're free to be yourselves and to get rid of all of these different issues uh, that may uh, be causing this energy, because this could be somebody who you are a friend with who had children by someone else. Or who has issues from childhood that this person really knows about. But remember, healing family issues. Your life, love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Something about the childhood when it comes to the accountability. Somebody being accountable for why it's hard for someone to be and move forward of their control issues. And knowing that the person that, it, that they're with could be the one. But they're saying that religious factors. And I don't necessarily think this is religious factors. You know what I think this is? I think this is the way this person was brought up. is stopping them from moving forward. That's just how I see it. And they can't truly, they can't truly have a happy life, happy wife energy or vice versa until they can truest, they can be their truest selves um, is when they will be free to love. And this person feels trapped and blocked off, but they're not, uh, they're not admitting to that. And so you've been patient. Another card, mischances. Yeah. 
Have you considered all your options? Did you give it everything? In the end, we only regret the chances that we did not take. So again, be impatient. And this is probably the way this person feels. <clears throat> Excuse me. They don't want to be accountable for their actions of why, you know, uh, it's a back and forth thing or that they had childhood issues or something about a child, but they're missing opportunities with you and you're being patient. But how long can your patience last? You know, they need to let go of the control issues and actually really work out this energy. You're going and retreating. It's time to disconnect from the world in order for you to realize and they need to do it as well. So again, I think that the religious factor or maybe you guys are in separation and retreating from this energy because this person is trying to figure out exactly what's holding them back from moving forward. You know that this is a destined partnership. This person knows that you know it and that this friendship is leading to more. They knew that and that's the reason why they were feeling weird and all this other stuff and giving you excuses. Warning, don't dismiss the red flags here. You can't dismiss the red flags because when somebody has accountability issues and childhood issues and they miss opportunities that are sitting right there in front of them, that's considered a red flag. You know this person, you know a lot more about this person than they know about you. And therefore, healing family issues could be a, a, a big red flag when it comes to moving forward in this relationship. I don't know who needs to hear this, but uh, when it says religious factors, again, I just feel like... It was their upbringing and it says religious upbringing, but I don't think this is very religious. I think that if this person grew up and they had abandonment issues as a child or they felt like, you know, they had to, you know, they, like, hmm, I don't want to say mommy issues, but I want to say like it's abandonment issues. Like, you know, maybe their parent weren't there or something of the sort. But anyway, it goes, you know, this person has some type of issues that need to be dealt with and. They have to figure out, I'm trying to pull this down so that I won't knock my, my cabinet down as well. But, you know, they have some type of issues that they actually need to work on. And the only way that they're going to work on it is if they go and retreat. So you might be, again, at a distance from this person. And this retreat isn't the type of retreat when it comes to a wet, uh, wedding. This is a retreat so that you can get to that point and be your free, you know, be free uh, to be yourselves, if that makes sense. Um, so <clears throat> bottom of the deck, freedom. When we can be our truest selves, we are then able to freely love, patience. Everything will unfold in divine timing, you know? So I think this is your energy right here, and I think this is their energy, you know? They miss the chances. They don't want to be accountable for the past or the things that happened as a child. So it says that um, this may signify the desire of them or someone's inner child needing attention. It says, Miss Chances, have you considered all your options, meaning them? They have missed several opportunities, not just with you. <clears throat> Excuse me. Not just with you. I'm going to pull from the Divine Masculine deck because, um, or DM, excuse me, the DM Confessions, because whether this is male or female energy, this is how this person feels, you know, this is how this person feels and are afraid to say it. So um, this is the DM confessions. Um, I don't know. And every time I do this, I have to tell you for the longest, I used to use this as this person as my thumbnail on my YouTube channel. And um, um, I never knew it when I bought these cards that it was the same thing until I don't know. I was like, why does that look so familiar? Anyway, so I'm going to pull messages from uh, the DM confessions to see what it is. And this could be male or female energy. Take what resonates. But this is either your energy. You know, you can the, the, the energies could be crossed. But I feel like this is the other person's energy that you're dealing with cancer. And this is how you feel. You know, you know that there's red flags. So you can't dismiss them because this will turn around and bite you in the butt, which it already probably has. Friendship, it could lead to more. And it has been leading to more. And that causes this person to go into hermit mode because they're scared. They're scared. Uh, something about, to me, their childhood has stopped them from wanting to move forward. And it's scaring them from commitment. 
if that makes sense. It says, but they know that, that it says this could be the one, but they have control issues. They try to control everything and you probably do too, but you've been patient in regards to this. And so that's why you're like, everything will, ha will unfold in divine timing. And they're like, I, I, I need this to be that way, this way, that way, this way, that way. And it's just, it becomes arrogant to you, if that makes sense. So that's just kind of how I see it. But um, yeah, I don't know. I'll pull from the DM confessions to see what cards come out and see what um, energies we're going to talk about and what this confession is uh, from this other energy or this other person, you know. Um, and that's the thing. I want you to be the mother of our children. I want you to be the mother of our children. Well, hell, that ain't for me because, <laughs> no, I'm not going to say that, but my grandbaby's behind me. Hmm. Anyway, so my kids are grown. That could be for somebody. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Now, these energies could be, you know, hit or miss. If it's not for you, it doesn't, and it's it, then it's not, you know. But anyway, they're, they have issues that they need to deal with, and you are the one that's going to help them by being patient. Sometimes I wonder if this is all in my head, but I know deep down it's not. I'm trying to overcome my vices and blocks to give all, uh, to give all you truly deserve. So, again, you know... And that and that and that's them being accountable for their actions. I'm sorry if I ever made you question your own worth. You are incredible inside and out. So this is what the DM is saying to somebody who has been on hold and has been patient for them to come out and to give them what they really want. And that's love, right? When we connect sexually, sometimes it is so intense. I run because I feel myself falling deeper in love. See, they're scared of commitment. Something about this, this, um, uh, upbringing um, is stopping them and it, it halts them, which is uh, because of family issues, you know, take it off and bear it all. And that's what they need to do. Be themselves. And that is the problem. You know, you're patient with it and you know that everything will unfold in divine timing. But how long are you going to wait? This person, it says, when we when we can be our truer selves, we are then able to freely love. They aren't able to love. You are lovely from head to toe. So they know that they that you are. However, this is something that's blocking them. They have blockages. I'm I'm so afraid of changing. Yeah, they have blockages. So I think this is more so of a message. Now, maybe at one point they felt that you they wanted you to have their baby, you know, um, and you know, they're afraid, they're so afraid of changing because again, that's their control issues. They feel like if you change them, then they'll, you know, they'll lose their reputation of who they feel like they are, you know? So sometimes I wonder if it's all in my head, but I know deep down it's not. I'm trying to overcome my vices, blocks, and give, give all you truly deserve and, and blocks to give give all you truly deserve i'm sorry if i ever made you question your own worth you are incredibly incredible inside and out so that is another energy that they're giving to you and then the next one says you know we when we connect sexually sometimes it's so intense i run because i feel myself falling deeper in love so you know they're just they're afraid to admit their feelings you know uh music soul child i was taught that a marriage with was to never cry. By, uh, uh. I can tell you it when I'm singing it loud because you know I can't sing, but I can tell you that energy when it's there. Uh, I mean, I can tell you the song when I'm singing it with the music on, but child, y'all don't want me to sing that. Anyway, uh, take it off and bear it all. They have to get to this point to where they're ready to bear it all and to let you know what they, what, how they truly feel and what's blocking them. And it's, I'm telling you what it is. It's the past. It's the way that they were brung up, you know, brought up, you know, their, their parents, you know, could have been, you know, um, let's just say this. Imagine, imagine how, um, I was going to say, imagine how, um, Hmm. How do I say it? How, uh, damn it. Yeah. Okay. Imagine how, and I, I'll just say this because we watched the movie. Ike Turner was as a father, you know, he was a, a Rolling Stone, um, um, as you know, uh, Ike at, 
I hate to talk about him, but, you know, Tina, my girl. But, you know, imagine how his kids would have been or how they are or were um, if they took that same persona on, like, you know, uh, uh, I'm Ike. You trying to help Ike? You get what I'm saying? Like that energy, you know, like that, that, oh, I, I don't, I don't need you. I made you, you know, anime, you know, you know, that, that energy. Sorry, I didn't mean the channel anime, but that is how I see this energy. You know, this person is so used to being a certain way that is hurting them. It's hurting them more than it's hurting you, you know, and they can't, they, they're not going to say it until you start really literally walking away all the way, you know? So again, that is where you are. I'm just going to go ahead and, uh, use my, uh, regular, I don't know what tarot deck this is. So um, this tarot deck <laughs> and see, uh, accountability, accountability, accountability you know i just i just feel like that like this person has to be accountable so if this is a love reading which i feel like it could be i just bent my cards the five of cups energy yeah they're regretting they're regretting that they're not account accountable you know they feel like they betrayed you but they're regretting that they're not accountable for this energy but they don't know how to you know because everything is about them taking action everything is about a person taking action when it comes to them you know this is you know being ambitious going after you going after what you want so they can go after any and everybody that's a red flag to you but you you know you can see what they're going through mentally you know being an empath and just just being able to deal and look somebody through their eyes queen of cups energy you can see what it is that they have going on you know it's something deeper than you and that's why they play so many games you know okay the card that came out is the ace of cups yeah they want true love they want romance you know but again you got to love yourself you know it's faded but it says this is a destined partnership but they have to deal with all their issues first this is the power of all water signs venus they have to deal with their issues you know that this could be a beautiful uh, friendship relationship or whatever because you know the friendship you guys were friends you guys never gave yourself a title you guys were friends you just kept rolling with the punches but they're missing the opportunities with you and the friendship is never going to move forward and they're missing you because again you went into hermit mode or they went into hermit mode with this retreat card being here you know and it's just like you know yeah seven of pentacles you know the missed chances are the options that they always have they've had more options than just with you but they missed it, but nobody has your energy. So again, they missed it. You know, this is considered a long-term investment, you know, for uh, hit this person, the missed chances. And this is also seeing results, you know, so this friendship could be more and they know that they just are afraid to admit it because they can't be, be, uh, up front with you because again they are so worried about the way somebody will perceive them that they can't do it this card over here fell first seven of wands energy yeah they can't they don't even have the courage to be able to do it now anything else anything else they could they could fight and be a part of these cards came out like this so i'm gonna turn them over anything anything and anybody else they'll be able to they they wouldn't mind battling they have courage to go after every challenge and make the effort to do so but when it comes to them really being open and honest about themselves well look at that it feels like they're you know the bondage is there so they like the temptation of them being with several different people and not having any accountability this is them going after their temptations and you know the bondage comes with them you know uh being <coughs> excuse me it comes with them um you know being being um self-destructive you know and and going after their addictions which is being with several different people because this is capricorn energy being with several different people but the missed chances could be seven years remember seven uh the pinnacles seven of pinnacles is here seven years could be seven years of you waiting for this person to understand that this friendship is leading to something more you see the beauty in this person but they don't even see it in you they don't see the beauty in you because they are focused on everything else but that you know they're trying to deflect and distract everything and so there is no room for celebration three of cups is you know gossip and overindulgence and uh being at a distance because they they go into hermit mode when they're scared to do something when it comes to 
them having to probably heal and be the person that they really want to be. We're clarifying family issues. Yeah, family issues. Uh, the nine of wands energy. Family issues is knowing, you know, recognizing that you have the strength, you know, in order to um, be able to do anything. And they believe in themselves about everything else. But when it comes to this family issues, this is something that they don't want to deal with. Does that make sense? Retreat. Retreat. <laughs> Retreat. They have to grow up. You know, you think about it. The way that their parents might have been raised or the way that they were raised and, you know, this name that they think they have or need to be a part of, that is causing them to have to be lonely or to end up being with someone that uh, they don't want to be with just because, you know, all the other options have run out. Seven is Pinnacles Energy, you know, so I just see the retreat is them you know, looking at everything, the opportunities, preparing for, preparing to receive, but this is for the opportunities with the three of wands energy. This is, you know, knowing the direction that they need to go in, you know, so they're retreating from that, uh, retreating to see, you know, they're contemplating uh, the four of swords energy is being patient as well, but they're being a little too patient. Seven of swords energy, running away, hidden dishonor and lies. This is sneaky energy, you know, because they're still in the process. All of this is pretty much air energy. We have air wands, air wands, heavy, air wands are heavy on the board. We have a cup, we have one pinnacles. Yeah, uh, the devil energy, Capricorn, and yeah, Cups. So high priestess, this is them. This is you using your intuition, but this is them also having secrets. You know, this is them having secrets and them not wanting to uh, admit, you know, the things <clears throat> that's distracting them and the things that they're afraid to deal with. Look, my throat chakra. I'm saying that because <clears throat> I'm about to choke. In regards to saying this, they they don't want to have to talk and say what it, what they want because their upbringing it plays a huge factor in this. Yeah, but they're ending this. The death is in reverse. They're ending this energy. You know, um, the death card is um, uh, da, 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 what was I gonna say? It being in reverse is you know um, you know like uh, stagnation kind of. You know this they're stagnant on why. They don't, they don't want to have to admit it, but the eight of pentacles let you know that eight years you've been patient, eight years you've been patient. They know that they know that this is, you know, everything is starting to go the opposite way. This person does not want to lose you, but they don't want to have to do it. So again, what my, my felt like my throat was closing up, that was them not being able to talk and say what they want. This could be the one they know that you are the one. They know that you are the one, but here it is, the King of Swords. This, <laughs> the King of Swords is when faced with a difficult situation, be impartial, carefully evaluate your options with a rational mind. They know that you are the one. They know that you are the one, but tower in reverse though, right? The death is in reverse. The tower is in reverse. You know, the tower being in reverse is, you know, letting, letting you know that, you know, um, they're having restless times, you know, because they know that you are, but they also fear that happy life, happy wife may not go the right way because of the fact that, you know, you, you're fine enjoying peace and other, and other aspects of life. Maybe your real family, or maybe you're finding a new family. And then, um, the letting go of control issues, letting go of control issues, you know, they have to be able to let go of control issues. It, come on now chariot energy you guys so this is being triumphant they're gonna let go of the control issues it's taking them a minute eight years to get their shit together but they're letting go of control issues because allow the situation to unfold naturally well it wasn't really that natural you just you know i'm so afraid of changing they're gonna change they're letting go of the control issues and they're going to change bottom of the deck is the five of wands look at that they're covering their mouth so they don't have to talk. This is needless drama. You know, five of wands energy is conflict. Knowing what the conflict is, having strength to be able to go through it and know what competition is also about. But the ten of swords, um, it's ending of a difficult situation. Look at that. So they're ending it. They're going to open their, they're going to pull that bandaid off. They're going to rip that bandaid off. And they're going to, even though it, it kills them or it feels like they're stabbing themselves in the back, they have insight and they know 
what it is and what they have to do in order to move forward with you. Remember, it says freedom. You okay? It says freedom. Hold on, you guys. Okay, she's fine. She's getting over her cough that she had. So when she... Hold on. It sounds horrible. Hold on, hold on. Okay. When she lays down on her back, it just kind of comes up or whatever. So anyway, what they have to do is realize that um, when they are truly themselves, then all of the wounds and the bandages will come off. But they have to heal first. They have to take that bandage off, talk about the things that uh, have been an issue and that they felt like, you know, because it just is, is that it just is. It's not just is. I don't know what that means. But, you know, it's that they feel like as a child, they probably felt like they were stabbed in the back by their parents or the way that they were brought up. They had no choice but to do the sink or swim type energy. You know what I mean? And so therefore, when it came to commitment and things that could take them away from certain situations or change from the way that they did things, they didn't want to do that. And so they always kept a bandage over their mouth and, you know, kept pulling knives out of their back every time they thought about it. And then they placed the knife back in there because they never really healed from it. And so therefore, when it comes to not dismissing the red flags, you know everything that is stopping this person from moving forward. And that's the reason why I feel like you're patient. You see the potential in this person. You know, you see the potential. You know that this person is your friend and you're not going to give up on your friends. But that's the reason why you have to pay attention to the red flags. You can jump into this, but if this person isn't truly healed, then there's no need for you to do that. You're just going to break your heart. You're going to break your own heart and you're holding on. So this person has been your friend. And so in this situation, the Six of Cups is re reconciliation and reminiscing and childhood, but it came in reverse. So the Six of Cups in reverse is leaving and moving forward. So this person feels like you're going to leave and move forward. Queen of Pentacles, because nurturing, who is the Queen of Pentacles? She's a nurturer, but she's not nurturing and her big heart is going, uh, it's getting smaller and smaller by the minute. And the more social she becomes, the more he feels like, you know, and I mean social with everyone else, the more he feels like he or she feels like he, they're going to lose cancer. And so that is where there's like, they're so afraid of changing, but they realize that, you know, if they don't, you know, they're going to lose you, you know, they're going to lose you. So this is being a hopeless romantic and sending a message in the bottle of love news, you know, like this person is going to say, you know, they're going to move forward and travel towards, you know, you cancer because they realize that the public recognition is what you really need. You need that. And that's what you deserve. So again, it says here, do, 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 do. here it is it says here sometimes i wonder if this is uh all in my head but i know deep down it's not i'm trying to overcome my vices and blocks to give you the love you truly deserve so again what are their vices and blocks so we got the six of swords here six of wands and the six of cups six 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 look at that um hold on yeah, we got the 666 out here. And the sixes mean returning to a state of harmony and balances. That's this right here. If Oh, you can't see it. It's a little gray card. That's what the sixes means here. It says, um, it says again, it says uh, returning to the state of harmony and balance. It could be considered the devil energy like, Damien. that's not it. This is them being free. To try to, what did they say here? Here, I'll, I'll do it like this. Sometimes I wonder if this is all in my head, right? But I know deep down it's not. I'm trying to give you, I'm, I'm, excuse me, I'm trying to overcome my vices, the band-aids and the knives and blocks to give you all you truly deserve. So this person has a lot of wounds that they need to heal from, but they just don't know how. And you've been patient. You know that this is the friendship. This would be a relationship of a lifetime. But with a little bit of, you know, mending and healing, 
you know, but you know that you see the potential in it. But the accountability, the childhood issues, the missed chances, seven years, oh, wait, eight years, seven, but wait, no, eight years of you dedicating your life to this person and this long term commitment in order for this person to even change. Now you have to decide if this is what you truly want to do. Sometimes I wonder if this is all in my head. But I know deep down it's not. I'm trying to overcome my vices and blocks to give you all you truly deserve. So I don't know. That was for somebody that needed to hear that. You know, that was for somebody that needed to hear that. Remember, it's all all the all the elements are out here on the board. But cancer, this is if somebody is dealing with you that have these issues. I'm going to go to sleep because. I have stuff to do. One more card, though. Let me pull this one card. This is from Finding Your Soulmate. This was what was a tarot deck, and I can't think. So the card that flopped out, your dreams can come true if you have the courage to pursue them. Same thing. Same thing. Freedom. When you can be, when we can be ourselves, our true selves, we are then able to freely love, freely love. Your dreams can come true if you have courage. This person has to have the courage to overcome the vices and blocks to give you what you truly deserve. Maybe I should name it something like that, but this will be my thumbnail. These these five cards. I love you guys. Um, good night. It's late. Probably late enough for me. I'm normally not up this late. I don't know what time it is, but maybe 10-ish or so. This probably won't post to like almost midnight, but I love you guys. Yep, I love you. You made it to the end, and thank you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell notification to be notified when I come on. Let's say an affirmation. I now let go of worn out conditions of lack, doubt, hate, negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness, generational curses, debt, bad energies, heartbreak, bad health, and also addictions. Addictions can be to a person, place, thing, or situation.